Hello my beautiful Leos and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I am a psychic, medium, an oracle, and a prophetess, you guys. So that means I use the cards to connect, but I don't need the cards in a reading. So um, my beautiful Leos, this is your season. Ooh, Virgo showing up, Seven of Swords showing up, Emperor showing up. The Emperor's New Groove, that's what I'm hearing. That's a, like a children's cartoon movie from like a long time ago. And uh, the Emperor's New Groove has to do with Hercules, okay? So with the Emperor showing up, you know, I'm seeing, you know, Hercules was super strong, right? He was super strong. And I feel like you have someone here, um, they're coming in very strong. This is a very strong energy. This could be a new person, um, or it could be a past person that has gone through an awakening that's coming through with a new energy, okay? So um, if this is a divine counterpart from the past, you know, use discernment, but they're coming in, um, you know, very, <clears throat> it's like they've done, they've done some healing. They've been doing some healing, okay? <clears throat> so what I'm hearing is you aren't the only one, Leo, who's been doing the healing work, okay? So for some of you guys watching this, this is definitely someone from the past, or this is just a you know, a high vibe soulmate coming in that's going to match your frequency. Yeah, I'm hearing that this is new for a lot of you guys. Aha. Pull intuitively and I get the six of cups. Okay, so we have the four of uh, swords. I'm going to say the four of wands. See, ooh, this is marriage. This is union. This is unity. This is a, st a sturdy foundation. This is balance. You're seeing a lot of fours. Four, four, four. Because I accidentally said the four of wands. I've been doing that, you guys, like the last few days. Um, like when I'm channeling, I will accidentally say one thing, right? But everything I say is always for a reason. So, yeah, this is definitely like about marriage. Maybe someone has uh, left a marriage or whatever. But I do see that this is the incoming energy for you. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. Is marriage. Uh, I'm hearing soul marriage. Yeah, this is definitely, you know, I'm getting high risk gamos. Yeah, this is definitely about, you know, you have, um, well, let me just get my life together real quick. These cards are just like, um, cause I'm kind of like, which one do I want to use? Um, anyways, we have four and six. That's a 10. Okay. So this is definitely a soulmate, someone from the past returning to your life or just a past life soulmate whom you have not met yet. I do feel though that a lot of you guys, right? This is happening collectively. You can feel it happening you can feel it coming in but you're like who is it and when is it happening right um in the next four weeks a lot of you guys are going to be meeting your person the one it's the one that's what i'm hearing it's the one the one the one the one this is the one <laughs> You guys have been like in solitude, straight up Leos. You guys have been in solitude, like resting, healing, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But you guys are like, you know, I've, I've gone through my three of swords moment. I'm kind of like right coming out into my like truth, all that. But I feel like this is that person too. Like, so if this is a past person, especially like a twin flame or right, a past life soulmate who you know. Um, especially a twin because you guys had to go through a lot of healing work before this could, you know, come into union. You guys have been in like a separation for a lot of you guys, right? If this past person, it's been like crickets. You haven't heard anything from this person. I just heard for some time. Could be dealing with an air sign or a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You know what I'm hearing? I want to live where the green grass grows, watching my corn pop up in rows. Every day be tucked in close to you, right? And that's what this is. This person is hoping and praying that they haven't taken too long or, you know, um, that maybe you haven't um, met someone else that's like, like really giving to you because this is very generous, loving, um, you know, like kinship and friendship and love and souls and, you know, inner child. It's very childlike energy. I'm seeing the sun. That's your energy. Here comes the sun, little darling. I'm hearing you, right? Like that, that, that song, here comes the sun, here comes the sun, little darling, right? The Beatles, that's been coming up, you guys, so much for me, like the last two weeks in 
posts on Instagram, on other people's videos, uh, just for me, um, like one day my mom came and showed me something and she was like, oh my gosh, look at this. And it was that freaking song. And I was like, are you kidding me? And then one morning I literally got up cause I get up very early and I, and I have my morning time. It's very sacred. And I woke up and it was like, you know, six 30 in the morning. And I went outside and the neighbor was playing music that early in the morning from, you know, in their house. I get it. You know, you're like doing your morning stuff and you want some tunes. Um, and it, I walked out and it was that song, you guys. So that is how the universe works. Point being, this is you guys. You guys are getting a lot of sync, signs, synchronicities. Maybe you're even hearing that. Maybe you're literally hearing, here comes the sun. Maybe your guides are telling you that. You know, you never know. Here comes the sun, little darling. Someone wants to gift you something. They want to bring you an offer, okay? There's this offer coming in, again, from someone from the past or a new love that is a past life soulmate. Whatever it is, my loves, this is the one. This is your golden ticket. This is your, your person. Ten of Pentacles, you can't make it up, right? Bottom of the deck. What you don't know, what you can't see right now, what you don't see coming is that you're going to be in a Ten of Pentacles very soon with someone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. You sure are, my loves. <gasps> Let's see together what's after the Ten of Pentacles. It's another ten. I knew it. Ten, ten. I felt something like, yeah, there's this big release there's this big burden that they've been carrying around and what i'm hearing is confession these are my confessions okay so for some of you guys this is a heavy load this is someone coming in to like literally lay these wands down and go i've been carrying this around you know this love weighs heavy on me my passions weigh heavy on me this person is very close to coming in see how close he is to the houses or the village or whatever but he's been carrying these around for a long time he's exhausted it's tiring it's like i just can't take it anymore i gotta lay these down 10 10 you're seeing a lot of 10 10 threes three 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 this person broke your heart or it's just separation right but there's loss sadness grief pain through the heart also this could indicate a third party energy um, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be their job. We do have the Ten of Pentacles here and someone that's very heavily weighed down. So maybe it's their pentacles. Maybe they got a lot of, you know, resources, finances. Maybe they're very wealthy. Um, maybe, yeah, I'm hearing like their ancestry and, and all of that. So this is like for some of you guys, people who come from generational wealth, because that's what the Ten of Pentacles is. It's like legacy, generational wealth you know, uh, you know, hedge funds, mutual funds, or whatever the frick, whatever, trust funds, thank you, trust funds, um, trust fund babies, like stuff like that, um, but this is someone who's, you know what I'm getting, honestly, is someone who, um, they feel like their life is a curse, like, they feel like, even though that they were born, like, or they have privilege, privilege, or they have, like, money, right, you know what I mean, um, that doesn't, that's not value, that's not what places value on life, that's not what places value on happiness, that shit is not sustainable, it's an illusion. <laughs> okay. It's an illusion. And, you know, and, and in the not too off far future, you guys, guaranteed, you watch, this money system is going. Ooh. So you could be dealing with an earth sign. I'm getting very earthy vibes from here. Someone very stubborn. Someone who's chosen to literally walk around with these wands, like, on their back, okay? It's their own burden that they've been carrying, Okay. Three of Swords. Let's pull on Three of Swords real fast. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely Earth energy. This could be someone who's like, eh, I'm good. I'm single. You know, I'd rather do my own thing. You know, blah, 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 right? Whatever. Okay, so maybe that was the case in the past. I don't know. But this is definitely for me someone who's like, they're feeling good in their own life. They've got what they need. They're, they're independent. This is living their best life, okay? I feel like someone sees you, Leo, now living your best life and they're like, damn. <laughs> damn indeed they're like ah oh, i should have like messaged them i should have like you know offered my pentacle you know this is someone who's very timid now 
they're timid. Now, if this is a new person, this is how they view you. They view you as you got it all. You're very uh, established. You're independent. You're, you know, this is like the minor arcana, like empress energy. So it doesn't matter, man or woman. You are uh, your own breadwinner. You're your own, uh, you know, enigma, essentially. You've got what you need on your own. You don't need anybody, right? So that really puts you in the clear in a lot of ways of attracting karmic energies back into your life. You guys have truly overcome so, so, so much. And you're attracting what is meant for you. That's why I'm hearing the one. Here comes the sun, little darling. I told you, my loves, I felt it. I felt it. So we definitely have a high level soulmate situation on our hands. This is the one you marry. 10 and six, that's a 16, breaks down to a seven. You guys are seeing a lot of that. That's also, you know, in the majors, a 16, that's the tower. Someone has been in a tower moment or what this means is someone is coming in like a tower into your life. It's very abrupt, unexpected. It comes in like a gust of wind you know what I mean and you're just like what just happened <laughs> you know what I mean and uh what happened is this this love came in this love is coming in this is that tower not all towers are bad right some towers are real good they come in it's very unexpected it shakes things up it changes your your entire world right and then the next card after the tower is what you guys it's a star card 17 so Sevens and eights are going to be really big for you guys. I feel a lot of eight, 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 um, seven, seven, seven. Obviously, seven and eight are your zodiac. You know, your your it's your it's your season. It's your season. End of July into August, right? I'm hearing I am a lion. Hear me roar. Yeah, you get it, Leo. You get it. You are a lion. You roar. You're gorgeous. You're handsome. You're confident. You're shining. You're high vibed. You know what I just fucking heard? Sorry. You know what I just heard? No, no more gum stuck to my shoe. Oh, that's hard. I mean, that's deep. But that is hard. Like, um, it's your life. It's your life has been hard. You know, when you get gum stuck on the bottom of your shoe, you're like, ah, oh, shit. You know, and then everywhere you walk, you're like. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what this is. You've been walking, like feeling like you constantly keep getting gum stuck to your shoe in life and work and home life and whatever 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 you're like when am i gonna stop walking i'm getting gum on my shoe it's now loves it's now so also gum on the shoe it's sticky so it like keeps your shoe stuck so also what i'm seeing is like someone getting gum stuck on their shoe and then their shoe not moving and then their foot slipping out of the shoe when they go to walk so what i'm getting is that there's someone here that's been stuck in place They've been not walking forward to where they want to go, which is to Leo. Is is this person, is the gum on the shoe? Show me the gum on the shoe. Oh, you guys, I forgot to take out the lover. <gasps> There's the two of cups. I'm going to pull out the lovers because that is very significant. Very significant. Usually sometimes, you know, right, I'll go, oh, if it wants to come back. Uh, no, this is, this was definitely big energy. Uh, Gemini also, the twins, you know, with the lovers. So this for me is confirmation. This is a twin flame. Okay, where did I put it? Where did it go? The devil. Uh, you know, I keep seeing the devil. And you guys, if you've been here, you've heard me say, um, oh, look at you guys. I started shuffling the lovers and when I went to find it, look at the next three cards. Just look. There it is. Okay, so I found it. Okay, so you have a true love coming in. Someone could be making a big decision related to the heart. Okay, maybe that's what they recently did. Someone has definitely gone through a three of swords. You have the four of swords and the three of swords. So someone has gone through this moment and they've healed from it. They've learned from it. They've risen up. Archangel Raphael is here. Archangel of air. Archangel of heart. Of the heart. 
This person is so in love with you. This is supposed to be like a depiction kind of of Adam and Eve type whatever. Um, but I'm, you know, that whole thing was a crock. Adam and Lilith, Lilith was Adam's real wife, okay? Eve was the one that they brought in that was like, you know, there's this whole thing behind it, but she was the more complacent, uh, submissive, you know, just like the one that the patriarchal rule brought in, right, for Adam because then it was all controlled. Do you know what I mean? Lilith, bless you, mother, she is the real deal. She is the fire. She is the god, the goddess queen, right? Like she was the original and that's you. See how he's all burning up for her? And she's just like looking up at the angels because she's super tapped in. You know, she's high vibe. That's you. Your person has felt like on fire. Or when this person sees you, they're going to look at you like this. Wow. You're the person of my dreams. I'm on fire for you. This is love. Is this love that I'm feeling? I want to know now. Right? Like this is a, is this love? Is this love? Is it? Right? So this person is going, is this love that I'm feeling? Yeah, it is. I know it is because you know what? I've taken time for myself. I've taken a time out. I can't forget about this person. I've been holding on to this, to this pentacle, to this message, to this offer that I want to send to them. Yes, I am a little intimidated by them because I feel like this is someone who's got all their ducks in a row and I'm not used to, you know, used to that. That's what I'm getting you guys. Anyways, look, after lovers, another major arcana now, the chariot, Cancerian energy. So this is like your sister signs, right? Cancer, you're in between Cancer and Virgo, okay? So, you know, if you've been following along my channel, if not, if you're new here, welcome, my loves. Welcome, 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 welcome to the High Vibe Gypsy Cowgirl Tribe, okay? We are light workers, light warriors. We are pillars of light. This channel is a pillar of light. If you were drawn here, you are a pillar of light, okay? You shine. Someone's following their true north, their destiny, right? It's like the stars have aligned and a star is on the third eye, you see? They've learned about energy, masculine, feminine, or they've learned about light and dark, or they've just overcome their ego and their battles and all of that, right? Because you don't want anyone coming in towards you, Leo, um, who's not on the same level as you because you guys aren't entertaining that anymore. You guys are in a high vibe now where you guys see through this illusion. You guys can see through things. So you're no longer entertaining that. You know, you guys are large and in charge when it comes to your life. And that's the only kind of energy you're going to accept in is someone who is also mirroring that back to you. Are you large and in charge? Are you compassionate and loving and full of grace? Or are you a butt, a butthead, <laughs> right? No more butt heads. No more butt heads. Here comes the sun, little darling. See, my loves, I told you. Here comes the sun. There you are. Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. All three seasons lining up. You see how beautiful this is? It's been in the works. It's been happening. The pipeline, all your manifestations are coming through. And this has really started to hit home around Gemini season. Gemini is the twins, two-faced, right? Or like, you know, like oftentimes like the twins, one will have their eyes closed and one open. So if this is a twin flame, one of you guys was awoken and one of you was not. And that's what this is. It triggered the awakening process, separation, the whole shebang. Now, here comes the sun, right? So you guys are coming into union. There's been a decision and a choice made. And now what it is, is it's about coming in and bringing it home, driving it home, home run, home plate, the whole deal, right? You've been through all the bases, home plate, page of swords, communication, uh, truth, bravery. This is someone who's been watching you from afar, keeping an eye on you. What I am hearing is I never let you get too far, or this is someone who's been watching you online. They are really into you and they really feel a strong connection to you. They're about to reach out. And for those of you guys, we have Scorpio showing up. Those of you guys that this is a past person. Now, this is symbolic of you guys, my loves. This is symbolic showing here that you guys, you know, maybe you have Scorpio in your chart. Maybe it's a Scorpio coming in. Maybe you're connected to a Scorp. All this is, though, is very uh, deep emotion or deep stuff. It's things that have been lying beneath the surface with that Scorpio energy. But death card shows the metamorphosis, the transformation, death of the ego, and then awakening, right? Rebirth into your true self. That's what this is. Yep. So you don't have to worry, my loves. Look, 
You don't have to worry. Okay, this person, like whoever this is, either a past life soulmate or someone from the past, a twin flame who's coming in, this is full circle now, okay? But either way for everybody, or it's someone new. It's someone new. Now, because of the collective consciousness shifts happening at this time and the, and the rise up in frequency globally, um, many people are going to be coming, you know, meeting the one, uh, the universe is bringing people together, you know, because many of us, light workers right light workers we we do have this divine counterpart out there we have someone who we're meant to be with um by our side while we do our mission and more than likely right this is someone that is on mission with us yeah especially a twin flame or whatever right because they are also a star seed or a light worker and they also are you know healers and and, and of the light and meant to ascend to work together with you okay um so that's what i have all right so let's just see real quick all right for Leo spirit, for Leo, my angels and ancestors, Mother Isis, I call on you, thank you, innovation, you guys are innovating, innovators, and look at the first card out is an 11, my loves, see the Ankh, I just called Mother Isis, we have the Egyptian energy showing up, You guys are very innovative. We have Aquarius energy showing up. This person is um, someone who's going to do like really special nice things for you. It's like innovative ideas on how to show you affection and love and kindness and and things like that. That's what I'm getting. This is, and, and plus you guys are both very innovative. So you guys are both going to be like, uh, like I just said, doing your light work, but you're going to be creating together. Here comes the sun, little darling. Flirtation. I've got my eye on you, baby. Flowers, the sun. He's playing her a song. She's got a bow and uh, uh, where's the arrow? I don't see the arrow, but she definitely has a bow. She definitely has a bow. So maybe the arrow has been shot. Maybe that's why he's been singing to her, you know, serenading her because he's been shot by the bow of Cupid and love and happiness. I don't know, but this is what's about to come into your life. Look, flirtatious energy <gasps> and fulfillment. Your name could start with an F. I'm just getting that. There's seven flowers on here, you guys. That's your month, uh, you know, seven, July. This is big, July, the Lionsgate portal, all this. It's bringing all this back. Yeah, see, fulfillment. You're about to be fulfilled entirely, and you can't make it up. It's nine, nine, back to back. So you have an 11, which breaks down to a two. So it is the two of you, duality, partnership, like two of cups, right? It is that energy, but this is also nine, nine. This is cycles that have ended or ending. So you've been closing out cycles, your person or this person, whoever it is, closing out cycles, and now there's some kind of vibrational match. So you are attracting that. That's what's coming in. Absolute fulfillment of wishes. Your ships are arriving. Sagittarian energy here very optimistic, someone who's feeling very excited and happy. There's a large bag of money here. A lot of you guys are about to be coming into money, riches. I did talk about wealth. I did talk about wealth. I mean, look at the size of that money bag next to him. And that ship, that is that fulfillment. It's fulfillment of wishes. Like think nine of cups. Look at this manipulation. No longer allowed. No longer are you going to be manipulated by anyone. You guys can see through it. Enterprise. Seduction. Health. Ostentation. Submission. Patience. Lust. Lust. 
your ancestors are really guiding you, okay? A lot of Egyptian uh, ties here, ancient Egypt ties. Okay, you have Ra here, okay? The sun god. I mean, seriously, you guys, like, this is the happiest freaking energy. Your health, you're improving your health, you're working on your body. Maybe you're just, it's spiritual health, mental health, physical health, right? But this is also like a healthy connection. No longer are you surrounded by people who drain you, who are toxic, right? This is all about healthy connections that make you very happy, okay? Ostentation. Yeah, what I'm getting here is someone was used to people wanting them for their money. That's what I'm getting with that. Seduction. Um, they feel like you seduce them. You are seducing to this person. You have 12, 12 here, back to back. Three, three, and then a six and a one. Someone is submitting to to, to your seduction, plain and simple. You see that? See the birdcage? My, my heart is open. Venus energy. This is all about love. Someone is submitting, submission to love. They've they've left their cage. So you have three three showing up with twelve twelve. You might be seeing twelve twelve a lot also. Seduction. Yeah. Everything about you is like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And then lust. Yeah. Yep. 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 This person is really feeling you, Leo. Really feeling you. And they are about to make it known, my loves. They're about to make it known. So let me just get um confirmation with my light series tarot where we at 26 minutes i'm not extending this you guys death yeah rebirth there's about to be a massive transformation and rebirth in your life more scorpionic energy and i told you i kept seeing the devil i kept seeing the devil and here he is right at the end of the reading my loves i kept seeing it capricorn six of cups showing back up again Spirit really wants you guys to know that your your past, you've really cleared the past. That's what this is. You guys have overcome death of your ego. That's how you're able to see with your third eye so well. Your intuition is heightened. You know, you're extremely empathic, some of you guys, especially with the scorpionic energy here. Again, this could be someone who came and offered you their hand in the past with karma attached. And you said no, there was an ending and now they return. This is coming full circle. Or this is just, right, this whole new beginning with a soulmate. Six of wands and then there it is, you guys, four of wands. I told you. I told you. And then look, the fool. But it's in reverse. So what that shows me is that for some of you guys watching this, actually a lot of you guys watching this, this is a past life person. You know, I feel like the minority here is like the new new energy. I feel like the, the majority is past people. Uh, who've done their awakening, enlightenment, they've gone through their whatever they've released, and then now it's coming full circle for, for union. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Six of Wands is always a yes card. It's a victory. You are in the spotlight, Leo. There's a lot of people watching you, noticing you. Um, you're looking really good. Um, but I do feel like this is your, your guides and your spirit team, like cheering you on and like, yes, 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 Leo, you know, because I can feel it a lot of like, mm, like positive, happy, proud energy because you're a chosen one. You're special. You're a light warrior, right? Those of you guys who resonate as light workers and star seeds, that is your mission. You are meant to shine. You're meant to be in the light. You are the light. That's why she's in this white, right? Spiritual on top, party on the bottom. <laughs> but see the wreath here? Full circle. Wreaths indicate that. Mm -hmm. Eternal. And then, of course, you have the wand. I love that the six of wands only has one wand. You know what I mean? Every other card in this deck. So, like, the six of wands in this deck for me is very ace of wands -y. It's like, yes. Yes, this new beginning is happening. Yes, this Ace of Wands is coming in full circle. See, passionate new beginning with a past lover or a twin flame. See, there it is. There's that 1111. So we got the lovers, the Six of Cups twice. And then we got the Four of Wands. This is definitely the one, my loves. Definitely the one. Okay, so let me just grab an Oracle real quick. 
All right, for my beautiful Leos, for my beautiful Leos, for August. So anyways, you guys, yeah, like I was uh, gonna finish recording just like the rest of July for all the Zodiacs, and Spirit was very adamant about me not doing that and then just starting the August reads because quite frankly, you guys, the energy here is already in August. It's already like in Lionsgate, it's there, it's there. So I'm just gonna start, this is what this is for, August, right? You guys have seen. So that's why though, if you guys are wondering like, oh, you know, time to go. Someone is walking right towards you. They feel the timing is right. Another nine, 45 breaks down to a nine, could be an H. Um, for some of you guys, this person, uh, you know, they if it's a new person, and they've been watching you, they may take the opportunity of your birthday to like reach out and say like, oh, like happy birthday, you know, just, you know, to like make little small talk or something. Or this is how this person tries to break the ice coming back in. The building blocks, yeah, they wanna build with you. Either way, my loves, it's time. It's time and you're gonna be building with someone very soon. Go the distance is on the bottom. It's a cheetah, it goes, it's, it means it's happening very fast. Someone is wanting to go the distance with you. Make things work, you know, work things out, build. You can't make it up, my loves. You just can't. As I'm literally saying, they want to make up or work it out or build. You get, uh, oh, sorry. You get mending and orphaned. Someone who's been blocked off from your energy or someone who you had to leave out in the cold or just feels like orphaned or left out in the cold, okay? They feel like kind of abandoned. I feel like that's like, that was their ego. They had to get over the fact that they were not abandoned by you. They had to get over the fact that you you walked away because you chose self-love. And then what I feel is that this kind of like ignited this other person's like healing and self-love journey too, okay? And now they're ready. It's They're saying it's time for me to go back to Leo or it's time for me to make my move, move towards Leo. You have mending here. You've been mending relationships in your lives. I'm hearing family, friends. Um, you are your needle and your thread. You know, you've got it all. But this is someone who's ready to mend things with you, okay? Breathe. You've been doing a lot of uh, time alone, meditation. I'm hearing spiritual baths. Some of you guys need to take a spiritual bath because now I'm hearing psychic attack. If you guys have been feeling out of nowhere, very depressed or angry or irritable and uh maybe very low energy tired just do you know what i mean that could be spiritual attack for sure my loves come to the edge and then to be fair 38 another 11 and then milk and honey this person has come to the edge they're about to make their move in love and um you are their milk and honey. You see that? You're about to be enjoying the milk and honey of your life. You guys could be seeing rainbows or you could be seeing a lot of like, you know how like the sky clouds, like when the sun sets, it gets very orange, like pink, sherbet colors like this. Okay. Those are going to be sinks for you because look, you guys actually have that back to back, those colorings in the clouds. Those are sinks for you, okay? So just know that could be a day that your person reaches out. Maybe you have been seeing these rainbows or whatever, but maybe it's just kind of like a day. You know, it's real beautiful. Uh, you know, maybe there's like, you know, blue skies and a little bit of clouds, but you know, when the sun starts setting, it's very pink and beautiful. Spirit is also saying that's love, peace, and then a regeneration. All right, my loves. Spirit is clearly saying that there is about to be a huge rebirth, okay? And peace is entering your life. You're also very protected, very protected. Um, but Spirit says, stay calm at this time, so don't let anything ruffle your feathers or get you upset. There could be people trying to trigger you. Don't let that bother you. But you you, you are, your, your angels and, and your guides are protecting you, you know what I mean? Um, and the egg is also speaks of fertility and, and, and life and birth and, and new beginnings and that kind of thing, right? So there's that, okay? So there's peace coming in, all right, my loves? Um, ooh, spirit saying get a romance angel card. Okay, let me just get one before we go. Again. <gasps> I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. This could be.
be the one. It's the one. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And the very last card says it. It says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So whether you know them in this lifetime or this is just your past life person coming in, you're going to know immediately when you see them. Wow. It's an instant familiarity. You, It's a soul recognition because you know each other on a soul level. Mm -hmm. So as your human selves get to know each other, your souls are already in love. Your souls are already going, yeah, we found each other again. This is, this is it. This is it. So again, you, you guys have the one coming in. Okay. And then you have chemistry. All right. So this is all about your guys' energy for me, a strong magnetic attraction here. It's fire. It's passion. It's courage. It's, it's that, Ooh, you know what I mean? And that's what this is. Also, we have Yeshua, Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Okay. Cause his real name was Yeshua. Um, but they were twin flame. She was his beloved twin flame and wife. Okay. She showed him the light. You see, she showed him the light. Mary Magdalene did guide and teach Jesus a lot. You guys, a lot. He's clearly being shown spirit, source, light, magic, energy, whatever it is. Right. And that's what you brought to this person's life. My love. So there it is. This is what I have for you guys. Okay. So again, if this was your message, claim it as yours, like subscribe, all the things you guys, um, if you feel guided and if you would like to book a personal psychic session with me, you can find the info down below you guys. Um, I think probably not too far off. Um, I might take a little break from personal readings for a little bit. Um, but that won't be for a little while. Um, but I'm just kind of like letting everyone know that maybe, okay, soon I might take a little break. Um, but I will always, always do them. Okay. Um, so you can find all the info below. I'm not extending this, so there's not going to be an extended. Um, and that's it, my loves. So love and light. Namaste. And oh, thank you, spirit. If you guys would like to order a Lomarian seed, clear quartz, uh, copper wiring, they are all handmade by my mama and me. And I infuse, you know, after they're, after they're created, I take yours and I infuse it with all kinds of magical jujus. I speak light language into it. I code it especially for you, you guys. Okay, so it's like your spiritual battery pack and activator. All right, so I send you so much love, so much light. Namaste. Bye, my beautiful Leos. And by the way, this was a longer one because it's your